everyone uh, welcome to the session uh, we're going to today we're going to uh, do a uh, going to learn how do we do a rolling updates to a service which is running on docker uh, so in this example what we're going to do is so we're going to um, we're going to create a redis service uh, or using docker service command line and uh, then we're going to list uh, what's running behind the scenes and also going to check out what processes how many containers are supporting that particular service and also um, we're also going to uh, try to update the baseline image uh, for that particular redis uh, server and then we're going to see how that uh, image is getting uh, updated uh, uh, in, a, in a rolling uh, fashion what that means is um, nowadays uh, we have this culture of um, or the idea of having rolling updates the idea behind rolling updates is uh, trying to test out a uh, couple of uh, some sample set of um, um, infrastructure or certain percentage of infrastructure uh, first and once that feature and or that particular update has been successfully tested uh, by the beta users uh, will go uh, full swing uh, with the uh, the rest of the infrastructure uh, you can think of this in a, in a typical example saying uh, if you have a tomcat a7 running in your infrastructure and you have 100 ec2s or uh, running in your cloud uh, or on-prem solution um, um, uh, what, 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 what the idea of rolling update is we'll just update 10 of the um, instances or 10 of the services or 10 of the um, Tomcat service to be um, migrated from Tomcat 7 to Tomcat 8 and still see how our applications are um, uh, behaving uh, which means a certain proportion of your application will be served by Tomcat 8 at a given time and uh, still 90% of the infrastructure is serving uh, served by Tomcat 7 and then when, when the Tomcat 8 is uh, uh, published um, it, uh, Tomcat 8 is, is, is out there uh, which will have <coughs> uh, is out there uh, then uh, it's Tomcat is, is tested will go and fully upgrade the um, rest of the infrastructure so with uh, the further ado uh, without further uh, further ado let's go ahead and create the uh, docker service let me pick this up so uh, what you see here in the in the docker services uh, we have a docker service command which we are saying hey create the service uh, create the replicas uh, of five uh, which means uh, it will be supported by five docker containers and name it name is redis update delay uh, is 10 seconds uh, which means before upgrading it to before up doing a rolling update or before doing an update to an existing service wait for 10 seconds before you move on to uh, the next service or, or the next container or to say or the next ec2 in your infrastructure so that that what is the update delay so that if something is failing and you can also combine this and mix and match with uh, what happens on failure uh, you roll it back or or things like that or you pause and you know you can combine it with various parameters so we for, for today's example uh, we're just having update delay of 10 seconds and we're saying hey uh, there is a redis 3.0.6 and now you can see this hash represents hey our docker service is created so let's go ahead and check uh, what's happening with the service now you can see uh, we have a docker service which has an id uh, the name is redis uh, the mode uh, is replicated uh, and replicas mean, means uh, the, this this five slash five means hey uh, five on the right hand side means hey we this is the desired state and five represent the current state which means we asked docker to have five instance at a given point to be up and running and and right now uh, there are five of them running so if the, the, this number is something like uh, 4 slash 5 or 3 slash 5 uh, uh, for, the, for the example of 4 slash 5 it means uh, the desired state is 5 but right now only 4 are active so that's what that those 5 slash 5 mean and this is the image uh, which is redis 3.0.7 which we're going to update 
in this demo and let's go ahead and say um, give me all the process hey sir, docker service uh, tell me all the processes as this status is running uh, <clears throat> now if you look at this this service is supported by five replicas as we were uh, explaining in the in the in the service listing piece uh, which means <coughs> uh, we have redis 1 to 5 which are running redis 3.0.6 uh, in mode mobi uh, the mode mobi means um, uh, it's running on a single host uh, there can be a different mode also it can be a docker swarm mode which means it's running on a cluster node uh, which means the service is is not supported by one uh, ec2 it's supported by multiple ec2s and it's more distributed it's more like a distributed system uh, and the desired state is running and uh, we have error ports nothing less right there and current state is it's up and running so what we're going to do here is uh, so right now we have a uh, we have the five nodes running so what we're going to do is we're going to go and update the, the redis image um, to be um, 3.0.7 and then we're going to say hey docker service update the image to 3.0.6 now you can see here clearly we're running 3.0.6 six here right so after this image to 3.3.6 so once you say update so it will represent let it come back um, so now it has said redis it means it's success message now if you start looking at the processes running so you see uh, this little arrow right here which means the first container which was supporting the service is shutting down and which was representing 3.0.6 and and that is one is supported by 3.0.7 now which is running so it has started uh, doing rolling updates now as we mentioned in our service here we have an update delay of 10 seconds which means uh, it will wait for some time before moving on to another pieces so if you look at this now redis 1 2 3 all the pieces represent 3.6 and 3.6 and 3.06 which means all the containers supporting the service were are shutting down and there are new service new containers trying to support the same service but in a rolling update fashion so our service was never down our service was always up and running uh, so this is the idea behind rolling updates so let's go ahead and do uh, try to see um, scale this service uh, now imagine i have uh, a huge traffic coming to this service and i want this service to be scaled to um, okay 50 containers with the service service scale to 50 so if you say docker service ls hey now as i said there are 50 which is a desired state but right now we have moved from five to eight of them so if you, if you keep looking so now uh, we have 50 of them available right now which was eight a uh, couple of seconds before um, so now let's see what's happening here on the um on the process of the database level oh my goodness so we have we saw these five um, redis containers with a rolling update and now we have 50 of the redis containers trying to support the service and it this is one of the very good um, um, scaling issue this this can solve a lot of scaling issues uh, in, in a lot of enterprise and a lot of organizations and the, the idea behind it and and bear in mind that this is just a single host uh, uh, where it is running uh, and this is how much compute density we are achieving by running docker services or docker containers uh, into one process and imagine those days when you were having to run 
um, virtual machines and spinning up 50 virtual machines at a given single time in any of your any of your single host is a nightmare we all know that the system will never survive after that or, or probably you know go or crash it uh, so uh, so that's the idea um, here uh, overall um, but I think uh, with with containers we can achieve a lot of compute density uh, so so that that's a, that's a pretty good uh, demo of uh, uh, docker service and how do we can scale uh, services um, on the fly uh, another uh, point I want to mention here is uh, if we if we put this in a container uh, in, a, in a clustering solution yeah being it ECS Kubernetes uh, Mesos or there is a HashiCorp Nomad also coming up. Uh, we can achieve a lot uh, with the with the containers and a lot of things in the continuous delivery domain. If you combine Jenkins and ECS and CloudFormation, uh, AWS uh, CloudFormation with that. So with that, I think I would like to wrap up um, before we go. Uh, let's uh, and uh, one more thing I just uh, wanted to say is we can also scale it down to five back again. And if we look here back. We're back on uh, five services so it has randomly selected three containers five four containers and uh, five containers to support the service uh, uh, let's go ahead and remove the service No, just no service already. So with that, I think uh, we're good uh, with uh, showing um, how what can what can we achieve with Docker service and how we can do rolling updates uh, for a particular service. So thank you so much uh, for um, listening. Uh, we'll be coming back uh, uh, with another tutorial session of um, how we can achieve uh, clustering solution uh, combining Kubernetes, uh, having a Spring Boot Maven application, Spring Boot Maven application uh, running on Kubernetes with using Docker on a Google Cloud. Um, stay tuned for that, and uh, thank you so much uh, for listening.